Good evening, hyperspinners. Today I'm going to show you how to display high scores on your main wheel and or your hyper marquee. Uh, let's go. Alright guys, uh, first things first, uh, we've got to find the high score execution, and that is uh, called high to text, and you can find that on the hyperspin form. Uh, the most up to date uh, exe file is not uh, posted on the downloads page, but there is one that is uh, supported uh, from 2005, but not a whole lot has changed. Uh, the only thing that's changed is the number of games that are supported on the uh, high 2 tax. Um, so the author of the application is Greatstone. Uh, he uh, continues to support the uh, application. Uh, I believe the last update was December of 2016, but he's been doing this for, uh, or sorry, 2017, I think. Uh, he's been doing this for a couple of years now. He's got his own website uh, that basically supports some of the documentation, um, you know, for the the guys out there that um, really want to get uh, in the weeds here. Um, you know, he describes uh, the hexy code and whatnot uh, to kind of customize this as you will, but uh, everything uh, works out of the box uh, as long as you complete a few steps ahead of time. So. Yeah, just go to his uh, website here. I'll put the description uh, or the link in the description below. And uh, yeah, you just download the uh, application uh, here. And once you have the zip file, you'll basically uh, just drop it in your Hyperspin uh, root folder. I will also include the exe and uh, the dat files in uh, my mega site. Uh, so it is uh, pretty much uh, drop and play. Uh, so here we go. So once you've downloaded uh, the high to text uh, exe file from the website here, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to want to make sure that in your hyperspin root folder, you've got uh, high to text uh, exe and the high to text uh, zip file from his website. Uh, I believe you had to rename the file a used to say high two text with a two and you're literally just renaming high two uh two spell that out text xe and the zip file you're going to leave as is i believe i unzipped it um, when i was doing the installation and i just never ended up deleting it i don't believe you have to do that but uh just for fun uh all i did was i unzipped uh, the high two text uh, folder uh, or the zip file here and that's what's in here. Uh, essentially, these are all the XMLs, and each XML has a high score in them. And this is what uh, that XE essentially reads. Uh, so the most important thing here is just dropping those two uh, files in your root folder, uh, high 2 text XE and high 2 text uh, zip. Uh, what's also important is if you go to your uh, Hyper HQ, you want to make sure that uh, High score is enabled, so go to main settings, tools, and then select enabled for a high score. If you want to move the high score uh, location on your system, uh, you can change the Y placement uh, up or down, and that that's how it's going to display on your, your wheel. If you want uh, the delay to show up your high score uh, longer than five seconds, I've got five seconds that seem to fit pretty well. Um, you can hide that high score for uh, that duration. Um, what else? So you might go to your main wheel. This is all under the assumption that your main setup is uh, 100%. Um, I am just throwing the uh, emulator tab up here just to show you that the executable is, uh, I'm using uh, main 162. I, I realize that MAME gets updated every month. It's impossible to keep up, and there's really not a whole lot of reason to constantly update. So um, that's that. You've got the executable uh, for MAME here, 
and your games on the wrong path. So I'm going to go ahead and close out Hyper HQ. That's all you've got to do there. There are a few other things that we need to accomplish before it will display here. Uh, in your main folder, wherever you, you've placed your main emulator, uh, what you're going to want to do is create a high uh, folder. That's for your high scores. And these are essentially all the high score files that are supported within the high 2 uh, to display. So I'll include this uh, folder in uh, my Mega site. So you can just kind of drag and drop. And uh, oh, there's also one more thing. So the DATS folder, you're gonna have to create a DATS folder. And this is just basically a compilation of all the uh, data information uh, about the games. And that is used for your high 2 uh, XE. And there's one more step that we gotta complete. And if you open up main, I'm still using the uh, main UI FX. You guys might be using an older version and or a newer version. So this last step might be a little different for you guys, but it should be relatively the same uh, bit here. Uh, so what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna go to options and we're gonna go to directories. You're gonna wanna map those two uh, folders that you just created, the uh, high scores folder. See, I've got the uh, folder HI and I've also got the data files, uh, which is at the bottom of the screenshot, or the, the drop down here. Uh, and that is mapped to my DATS folder. You're gonna wanna do both of those in your directory. And last but not least, we've got the default games uh, options. And if you go down to miscellaneous, you're gonna see um, enable high score support. So you're gonna wanna uh, mark that uh, is checked. And uh, whenever we're updating our MAME uh, settings, uh, something that I like to do, at least for MAME, because uh, controls can get messed up and what have you, you're gonna wanna make sure that your uh, your INI uh, file that you're updating is not uh, marked to read only. Uh, something that I found, at least what Rocket Launcher will ultimately do, for my system at least, is it tries to write the uh, main UI uh, FX INI uh, default, uh, basically where I, I've got all my setup or controls and um, other configurations. So I, I just right click that INI and I make it uh, read only. Uh, so if I were to change any settings here um, now, or if I play a game, it's not going to actually affect my settings because it's in read only. So um, just kind of keep note on that. You guys might have uh, the same issue there. Um, so you might just want to double check your uh, INI uh, file um, to make sure that, that what you're doing is in fact saving. So I'm going to go ahead and open uh, that file. So name INI, and so I think it's default and or name yeah, it's main, main INI. So if I right click that, go to properties, you're gonna see that attribute is read only. Uh, so if you guys are pulling out your hair and thinking, well, I'm doing everything that you're saying and nothing's working, I wanna just double check to see if that uh, main INI uh, file is read only. Um, but if you do switch that off, uh, you wanna make sure that you turn it back on once you're uh, done making your selections before you uh, run hyperspin. Um, so yeah, that's that's it, guys. Um, easy enough, and it adds a, an extra layer to your system. If you have HyperMarquee set up, you can certainly add that uh, to your system. And uh, check out my HyperMarquee uh, tutorial uh, to kind of see how that works. Um, so without for further ado, I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, my system here and uh, show you the uh, high scores. All right, enjoy. Introducing Hyperspin. Believe the hype. Pick any old school system from the wheel and get ready to travel back in time. Aw. Classic arcade. Launching. Get ready. Get set. 
Introducing Hyperspin, believe the hype. MAME is an excellent choice. 1943, The Battle of Midway. Nineteen forty three, The Battle of Midway, copyright nineteen eighty seven Capcom. Export release. Game developed in Japan by Capcom. For more information, please see the original Japanese version entry, nineteen forty three, Midway Kaizen. Nineteen forty nineteen forty two. 1942, copyright 1984 Capcom. 1942 is a vertically scrolling shoot em up set in the Asian theater of World War II. The goal is to reach Tokyo and destroy the entire Japanese air fleet. The player pilots a plane, and has to... MAME Introducing Hyperspin Believe the hype. All right, guys. So you saw uh, high two text working. Uh, I do apologize. I did Shoot. Close uh, Hyper HQ. Uh, so that's why you saw that floating around uh, because I've got the nested wheel. But uh, outside of that, um, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye.